Good morning, welcome to Morning Maths again, day 42. You just need pencil and paper. Copy me if you need to. Go faster than me if you can. Here's your three level question one. 500 plus 60. That's 560, isn't it? Plus something equals 562. So in the question up here, we've got 560. We just haven't got the 2. In the 562, so the 2 is missing. That's what goes in the missing box, in the mystery box 2. Question 2. 317 add is plus 244. We need to move some of those cubes. Let's add this with our column method. 7 plus 4. 7 plus 1, 2, 3, 4 is 11. 1 plus 4 plus 1. 1 plus 1, 2, 3, 4 plus another 1. All that is 6. And there are 3. Then we have 3 plus 2. 3 plus 1, 2 is 5. 561. Remembering plus makes things bigger, so the answer is bigger than the 317 that we started with. So that makes sense. We want our answer to make sense, don't we? We can move on to question four. Our column method, no, question four. Question three, I mean, don't I? Question three, our column method for subtraction. 35 take away 28. So 35 take away 28, 5 take away 8 we can't do because 5 is too small to take 8 away from it. So 5 needs some help from next door's 3. 5 is in the units but more powerful 3 is in the tens worth 3 tens, 30. So the 3 can go down to a 2 and we can borrow 1. So we can do 15 take away 8. 15 take away 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 is 7. 2 take away 2 is 0. You don't need to write that 0, do you? The answer is 7. 35 take away 28 is 7. And we're on question 4. 3 times 6. We sing our 3s 6 times. 3, 6, 9, 12, and 15, 18. It's 18. Move into question five, where we'll do sharing, as we usually do, because it's division, which is, of course, sharing. Question five, 12 divided by two, or 12 shared between two. So there should be 12 cubes, I must check. Oh, there's one under there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, share them into two groups. There they go. Both groups have six. The answer is six. That's your three level done. Let's go on to year four. Year four, question six. Something plus 200 plus 57. Something, which is probably quite big, plus 200 plus 57 equals 3,257. Well, in the question, which goes up to here, all this was the question, wasn't it, before the equals, we had 200 and we had 57. We had the 200 and the 57. We didn't have the 3,000. So what's missing is 3,000. In the missing box, I'm not going to fit it in this box, but it goes 3,000. It doesn't quite fit in. And question seven is next. This is quite a small addition for year four. Just so you don't forget how to do the easiest things or the smaller things. Might not be easy, we'll see. Six plus three is nine. Eight plus one is nine as well. Oh, seven plus two is nine. 999. They're just different ways of making nine, aren't they, those three columns? 
Let's go on to question eight. Question eight is minus, decreased by, as you know, we've been doing this for many days, decreased will mean minus. So 2,000 decreased by 146. 2,000 decreased by minus 146. Biggest number at the top, or it won't work, of course. We've got the biggest number at the top. This time we'll need lots of help because zero take away six you can't do. So we go right over to the thousands column, get one of those, bring it into the hundreds column. Goes down to a nine. Goes down to a nine and we end up with 10 take away six, which is four. Nine take away four is five. Nine take away one is eight and one at the front. That's not worth one, of course. It's worth 1,000. 1,854. You can do a number bonds check on number eight, can't you? Number bonds to 100, 46 goes with 54 to make 100. 146 goes with 854 to make 1,000. And we go on to question nine. Three times 70, very much like three times seven. What's three times seven? 21. What's three times 70? 210. She placed one zero from the question. We've been doing a few of those lately. Question 10, we can do um, similar for division. When we divide 120 by two. You could do the bus stop if you want, or you could do times tables in disguise. So 120 divided by two is a lot like 12 divided by two. 12 divided by two is six. 120 divided by 2 is 60. The answer is 60. Divided by 2 is the same as doing half of something. And half of 120 is 60. That's year 4 level done. We can go to year 5 level. Question 11. 24 plus a mystery. Equals 24.6. Oops, we need the equals. Very important. Means is the same as 24.6. Well, we need the 0 0.6. That's what's missing. 0 0.6. We'll write 0 0.6. 24 and a 0 0.6 is 24.6. Question 12. Big number here. 35,654. We're going to add 789 to that. 35,654 plus 789. Just copy the numbers carefully. No decimals, so line up down the right carefully. And we'll add. You know how to add in your, whatever well, you're on the year five level, you know how to add, that's for sure. Five plus eight is 13, plus one is 14, that's it. That's 14 as well. Very important 6,000, very important three ten thousand. that's 30,000. The answer is 36,000. 443 and we'll go to question 13 at the top question 13 4.2 minus 1.83 now there's something very important you have to do to make this work 4.2 minus 1.83 this won't work unless you place a zero on the top line so don't forget to place a zero on the top line Zero take away three we can't do. We need some help from here. Ten take away three is seven. One take away eight we can't do. We need some help from here. Goes down to a three. Eleven take away eight is three. Three take away one is two. It's not 237, is it? It's 2.37, so don't forget your decimal point. Four and a bit take away one and a bit. Ended up being two and a bit. Question 14 is times. Product is a very um, important word to know. That it's important to know that product means times. 648 and three. And usually means um, plus, but in this case it doesn't because product is there. The product of these two numbers means times them, multiply them. Standard method. Gives us 1944 as a famous date. 1944. 3 times 8 is 24. 3 times 4 is 12. Plus 2 is 14. 3 times 6 is 18. Plus 1 is 19. 1944 is how we say that in maths. 
And we go on to question 15. Question 15 is division facts in disguise. We can do, we could do the bus stop. Divide 4.9 by 7. 4.9 divided by 7. 49 divided by 7 is 7, 14, 21, 28, and 35, 42, and 49. That is 7, but this is this has a decimal place, so it's 0 0.7. 4.9 divided by 7 is 0 0.7. If you're confused about those, just use the bus stop because that will allow you to, that will help you know where to put the decimal point if you're confused because you just line it up above, as you know. Shall I, shall I do the bus stop quickly now that I've said that? 4.9 divided by 7. We go like this and like this. But you know where to line up the decimal point because it lines up with what's in the bus stop. So we get 0 0.7. Let's go to question 16. Question 16 is a mystery. Hopefully not for long. But it's got a mystery box plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.08. I'm squeezing it in again. All that equals 2.58. It's actually very similar to questions we've been doing lately. Pretty easy, really. After lots of practice, it's the 2 that is missing, isn't it? 2 plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.08 is 2.58. Question 17. Plus, big old plus. 43,256 plus 9,876. Let's get some space and do this addition. Just check over that. I don't know if I've done that right, have I? Four plus a one, it's definitely not four. I'm gonna check this once more, but that's five, I think. That's definitely five. 52,000 with the carrier and 53,000, okay. After I've made one mistake, I'm gonna check very carefully, see if I made another. I think I'm okay, 53,132. I have to check over my answers very carefully. Question 18 will be minus. Don't get tricked by this one. 2.3 less than 5.0. Biggest number on the top in minus when you're doing column subtraction. So the word problem has put the biggest number at the end, hasn't it? That's what can happen with word problems. But if we're doing column method, we need the biggest number at the front. Five is bigger than two and a bit, of course. As I'm sure you know. So we get 2.7. 2.7. If you put the 2.3 on top there, it will all go wrong. You'll think, why is this not working? And then hopefully it will come to you that you've put the smallest number on the top. When in subtraction, column subtraction, you need to put the biggest number on the top. Question 19. Line this up as if it's 856 times 4, but it's really 8.56. And you do it as normal. We get 3,424. No, we don't, because we need a decimal. 34.24. 8 times 4 is 32. 8 and a bit times 4 ended up being 34.24. One more question is question 20. Question 20. Divide 126 point by 4. I wonder if this will work without a remainder. Without, I wonder if it will work exactly. 4, 8, 12 is 3. No, 1. I've got 31 remainder 2, but I'm going to put the decimal point on, as we've been doing over the days. Line the decimal point up. Carry the 2 instead of remainder 2. And then it works, actually. It's 31.5, which is the same as 31.50. So in this case, I didn't need to put two zeros on. Could have just put one on. But because I didn't know how many to put on, I often just put two. See what happens. So it should be 31.5. Let's check all our answers. 31.5. See if all the answers are correct and the same as what we did today. I'll see you next time on day 43.